Well, today we're gonna look at I Hate You. I think it's my favorite cover song by Slayer. Um, it's from the Undisputed Attitude album and we have E flat standard tuning. Here's the E flat. Right? And very straightforward song, only two riffs basically, uh, very simple and just because of that I also tapped some of the solos and uh, some of the fills uh, just to make it more interesting maybe <laughs> for some of us at least. Uh, okay, so intro. Okay, so I think you have to explain that much from that. Just uh, have a, like a really really light palm muting, or maybe not even any palm muting. It's kind of hard to say, but uh, very light palm muting at most for, for this intro. Okay, for the chords, uh, and at the end of each line we have a little fill going in. So at the end of the first line we have this, we have this a uh, little fill like this. So basically you're gonna bend. Um, the G string, 4th fret, full step and you're gonna hit it 4 times uh, and then you're gonna release it and pull off the 2nd fret okay, at the end of the, at the final beat so basically kind of like that, right? okay right, uh, and you start this filling at uh, uh, 2 end of the bar, alright? so so you have one, two, like this. Okay, and the second fill in the second line is straightforward. You basically have this inverted power chord, second fret on D and G strings. And note that only one of the guitars plays those fills. Uh, they might swap between each other, I don't actually remember, but... Uh, so you don't have to play those fills if you don't want to. You can just go through this. Basically, right? You can play this instead. So basically, you have the same riff as in the very first bar. Okay. Uh, okay. So that's the intro, and then uh, for the verse riff right here on slide two, we have the same riff pretty much. But now you're gonna palm mute most of those uh, chords, as you can see. So it's gonna be like. Play it one more time, and that's uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Very simple riff. And for the chorus, the second riff, yeah, straightforward, right? So, and you play that riff twice, and after that, you repeat the verse and chorus, yeah, you repeat this slide basically one more time. Um, uh, the fill for the end of the chorus basically is something like that. Basically, it's a unison bend, fifth fret on B and seventh fret on G, bend the G string full step, and you hit it a few times. He plays this uh, fill a little differently every time, so you can just listen to the recording and capture it on your own. I think if you want to play it, uh, but basically you're gonna play this. If you want to play that feel, you're gonna play that over the final bar of the chorus. Uh, it starts actually a little before that as well, so it's kind of like. Yeah, something like that, right? I don't actually remember it exactly, but yeah, it's something like that. Um, you can play around like that. And then slide three. Uh, yes, yeah, so after the second chorus, we're gonna have uh, two guitar solos. And they are played over the verse riff over that one, right? So you can either play the verse riff if you want, or you can try the guitar solos. I haven't tapped the first solo because it's kind of, uh, uh, I don't know, random. It's like half of it, <laughs> it feels like. Uh, I can kind of show you what I think he plays. Uh, the first part is quite straightforward, but he basically plays. Something like that, right? So you have the unison bands, 17 E and 20 on B. And then the same thing, two frets higher up. 
And then you have a series of three kind of similar licks. Yeah. So that's the first one, you basically slide it to 22nd fret on B. And then play 1922 on E. And in the 22nd fret you're gonna bend full step, okay? So, kind of like that. And then you basically repeat this two more times. Uh, but the first time, uh, two frets lower, so at uh, 17 on the E string. And bend the 20th fret. And the third uh, time you're gonna play uh, 14E and 17 on, um, on B, right? So, uh, so that's pretty good. Yes. Uh, okay, and uh, yeah, you can tell I have to really practice that, but <laughs> I don't play that so. Uh, and then in the second line, um, yeah, that's when the random part starts. I think it's just going to be something like. Yeah, I don't know, something like that, right? So basically, like random uh, drills like this, and I think he also uses a pick to kind of go down and then up the neck, back up the neck again. And he kind of ends it on the 22nd B and E. Um, yeah, so you know, I, I haven't tapped that, so you can play it if you want, you can try to figure out, but. Uh, the second solo, on the other hand, which I am showing here uh, on the slide, on the slide, is much more fun to play, I think. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> very straightforward. You have this uh, natural harmonics uh, on the fifth fret. Right on the first uh, three strings, and then you hit the same harmonic but on the E string, and at the end of that bar you vibrate the string a little bit with the whammy bar. Yeah, and then in the second, sorry, in the third bar, we have this. So basically, you start on the fifth fret, B and E, one quarter note, and then eight notes. Uh, on the same uh, notes, four times, right? And then another eight note, but on the third fret now, on the same string set. Okay, so all, all together so far we have. And then you're gonna have quick pull-offs from fifth to third frets uh, on the same string set, twice, like this. And then finish off with the second fret uh, on B and E strings. Okay, so like really slowly, oh, everything. Is this. Yeah, and you know, the second line is pretty much the same, except for the first bar where I think he is playing this harmonic, only this one on the E string. And he goes down with the whammy bar, like really low. Um, and then in the second bar, he hits the harmonic on the G string. and. At that point, he will release the whammy bar and you know do the, do the shake, just as in the first line. And the second guitar, I think he's playing also that harmonic, uh, maybe a third guitar even. He's playing a, um, that harmonic, but he also goes up like two and a half steps roughly, and like, and releases uh, the, that. So you know you can play that as well if you want. So it's gonna be something like this. Uh, yeah, we can have fun with this a little bit. Alright, and then side 4, we are back to the verse riff. Same as before, the only difference is the fill uh, at the end of this first line. So basically you're gonna have something like that. So basically you hit this 4th uh, fret bend on the string, just like we had in the intro, but you only play that note once, you don't play it multiple times. So. So you have that bend, and then it's like at the end of that line, it's like a quick slide from roughly from 9th fret on E. Kind of like that. Uh, right? So that bar would be like. 
something like that. <laughs> okay, and then um, uh, maybe the whole line if I play it. Okay, like this. And then you go back to the... In the second time, you, you repeat that riff again. Okay, and then finally in slide 5 we have the chorus riff, just as before. You play it twice, and then you're gonna end on... Second fret power chord on E. And then one final strike on that at the very end of the song. Uh, yeah, and that's it. That's uh, I hate you. Uh, maybe a little over explained, but I think I had to because of those solos. Uh, okay, have fun with that.